Hello, friends. It's me, Mr. Prof, coming to you from, it's not really sunny. It's actually the sun is starting to set. The sun's going down, so it's actually getting kind of dark outside. So hello from getting dark, Santa Monica, California. It's me, Mr. Prof. Yesterday, we helped Curious Sophia's friend, Jack. Remember, Jack was getting ready to do a trip around the world, and he needed to know how to get prepared for the weather around the world. Because I don't know if we mentioned this yesterday or not, but the weather is not the same everywhere on the Earth. The weather in one place on the Earth can be very different from the weather on another part of the Earth, even, even during the same day. Um, so yesterday, um, young Jack was here. Let's see if we can figure out where Jack was. Yesterday, Jack was here in Los Angeles, California. And now, and we told him, you know, we went outside of our, our houses because we live in Los Angeles. So we went outside, we observed the weather, and we told Jack what the weather was like here in Santa Monica or here in Los Angeles. Today, we're going to tell him what the weather is like in a different place. And let me show you where we're going. I don't have my globe. I thought it might be kind of fun to play with this. This is a program called Google Earth, which you can do from home. You can actually do it for free. You get a globe, look at that. I can spin the world around. Hey, that's Australia right there. Check that out. That's underneath there is the South Pole. It's kind of hard to see. Oops, look at that. There is Africa. That's Africa. Some of my friends, the Extians, uh, grew up down here in a place called Johannesburg, South Africa. Let's see. Ooh, here is, now there's some clouds right now covering the earth, so it's kind of hard to see. But this is actually where we live. We're down here underneath these clouds. Let me see if I can zoom us in. I think if I type Los, oh, here we go, Los Angeles, California. Here we go. Let's see if it'll zoom in. Do, 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 too close, too close, too close. All right, that's a little too close. We don't need that close. Let's pull out a little bit. That's Catalina Island right there, falling away. And I think that's San Clemente Island. That's Anacapa, Santa Cruz, Santa Rosa, San Miguel. And I think that's San Nicolas right out there. But anyway, let's pull back a little bit more to give you an idea where we are. Close that. Thank you. So here we are. We're right over here in Los Angeles, California. Now, the place uh, Jack wants to go to is actually on the other side of the planet. So we're going to enter that location now. He wants to go to Bangkok, Thailand, which is the capital of Thailand. That's on the other side of the planet. Bloop, 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 bloop. And whoa, way too, too close. We don't need to be that super close. So let's pull out a little bit and show you where we are. So we are now, this is Bangkok, Thailand. It is the other side of the planet. It is next to uh, a company, excuse me, a country called Cambodia. It's next to a country called Myanmar, which has actually been in the news quite a bit lately. Here we go. Bangkok, Thailand is right in here. Uh, China is kind of over this away. India is over here. But our friend Jack, he wants to go to Thailand, to Bangkok, Thailand. Well, what's the weather like in Bangkok, Thailand right now? Uh, let's take a look at a picture, some pictures of Bangkok, Thailand. So this is what Bangkok would look like right now. This is what the weather would look like right now. Here are two pictures just taken from Bangkok. What do you notice about the weather in these pictures? Does it look cold? Does it look warm? Now, I don't think it's cold. And here's why I don't think it's cold. Well, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, over here in this picture over here, whoops, and there you go, Mr. Proft, doing silly things. It looks like it's sunny. The water in this canal isn't frozen, so I know it's not super cold. Also, there's people in T-shirts, 
And these these little girls over here, they're wearing skirts, right? Their their legs aren't covered in thick socks or long pants. So I'm going to look at this and I'm going to think, I think the weather here right now in Bangkok, Thailand is sunny and probably warm. It doesn't look like the wind is blowing. And I can tell that because I'm looking at the flags right here, right? Those flags are not flapping around. There's not white caps or waves in the water. Nothing's blowing around. So it doesn't, I don't think it's windy. It's certainly not rainy. It's definitely not snowing. So I think if I had to tell Jack what the weather was like in Bangkok right now, I would tell him that it was sunny and warm. So here, my friends, is what you're going to do. Just like you did yesterday, on a piece of paper or on a whiteboard, you're going to fill in the blanks here to complete these sentences, right? Jack is in, and where did we say he was? Jack is in Bangkok. The weather is, and you're going to write what the weather is. He should wear, and you're going to tell him what he should wear. So on a piece of paper, you're going to write where Jack is, what the weather is like there, and what he should wear. Remember, Jack is counting on you to figure out what he should wear. Now, if you need the weather wall, it's right here. So we have a bunch of weather words you could use to do your writing. We have pictures of different kinds of clothes you could use to do your writing. And I've even included the, the words Bangkok, Thailand. So you don't have to try to spell that on your own either. All right, so uh, just to reiterate, here's what you're gonna do. On a piece of paper, you're gonna write, Jack is in where? The weather there is, and he should wear. So we're gonna finish these sentences. It'd be nice if you could write the whole sentence out and then include the word that we're missing. All right, there you go. You have your mission. Get to it, friends. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and message me or Ms. Dano, and we'll be happy to talk you through it. But you know what to do. Jack's counting on you. Get to it. All right. Prof out.